More than 400 business leaders from 26 countries and regions gathered in December 2015 for the Hong Kong Forum. Organized by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council, the Forum was the 16th annual flagship event of the Federation of Hong Kong Business Associations Worldwide. <laughs> Federation Chairman Dr. Esther Nageli and HKTDC Chairman Vincent Lowe opened the proceedings, which put a spotlight on China's new Belt and Road Initiative and the extensive opportunities it holds for business people around the world. The Belt and Road Initiative could be a brilliant game changer that shapes the global economic order for decades to come. Hong Kong is going to be the information hub and integrator for companies to assess opportunities from the Belt and Road Initiative. Panel discussions and speeches are always uh, very uh, exciting and suggestive. And this time I'm especially interested in the uh, discussion about uh, one Belt, One Road initiative. Illustrating how companies around the world are riding on Hong Kong's advantages to grow and thrive, business leaders at the Forum explained how the city has offered a perfect place for them to start businesses and expand, particularly to the Chinese mainland and across Asia. Hong Kong's advantages are unparalleled in terms of logistics, uh, of a fine and efficient legal system, uh, great taxation advantages, and a very user-friendly uh, regulatory system for the import and export of art. Young entrepreneurs in Hong Kong benefit from uh, us being part of China, but not really within it because of uh, one country, two system. Uh, we benefit from the Chinese market. We benefit from our global connections in, uh, in Hong Kong uh, with the rest of the world. Uh, we benefit from our uh, well-established legal system. So the startup ecosystem is growing fast in Hong Kong. I think I can say it's one of the fastest growing startup hubs in the world. I would say Hong Kong is ever becoming a trendsetter within Asia. I think from what I do, uh, the retail has become much more diverse, incredibly sophisticated, with the well-known department stores as trendsetters not just within Asia, but certainly internationally. The ability to bring food and beverage products from New Zealand and have them tested uh, to Chinese customers in Hong Kong allows us to fine-tune those products and work out which ones can succeed and which ones are not adaptable before we expand that business into mainland China. The Hong Kong Forum has always been a great gathering place for great minds and very successful business people to mingle and uh, the speaker that they have provided has always been a good panel. We always learn something new, but I think the real value is in networking. The 2015 Forum also welcomed first-time participants from Indonesia and the Philippines. Indonesia offers lots of opportunities, uh, but we need investments. So Hong Kong is a good place to get these investments or to uh, voice out that, uh, the opportunities that we have in Indonesia through Hong Kong. We are very lucky and very happy to organize a big group, more than 50, to come to this year's uh, Hong Kong Forum. The world moves very fast. We come to participate in the forum to learn the new development in the uh, business uh, situation in Hong Kong and around the world. At the forum's keynote luncheon, Hong Kong SAR Government Chief Secretary for Administration Carrie Lam underscored how the city's core values and traditions foster competitiveness. The event's regional caucuses allowed delegates from member associations to exchange ideas and share a world of experiences. And awards were presented to members and affiliated business associations to recognize outstanding achievements. This award program has a strong incentive for them to promote uh, Hong Kong connections. This award for us, it's a seal of approval. It's um, a sign of official recognition of the efforts we are making. Uh, it's a sign for us that we are going in the right direction and that uh, our activity is appreciated here. The global network linked all the, the, the business information in the world that will be enable us to provide a most first-hand information in terms of the business information 
this business association or business opportunity. This year, a lot of good topics that are very interesting, except to some new technology like IoT, and also the uh, woman lead leadership and also the young leadership. And uh, I think very, very interesting, and then I think uh, it gives us a lot of ideas how to promote the business uh, uh, of Hong Kong to our local community in Thailand as well. This uh, Hong Kong International uh, World Forum actually is uh, very uh, good for our businessmen to exchange uh, ideas and experience, especially there are a lot of uh, uh, entrepreneurs coming from all around the world. We learn a lot about the new initiative, new project, which are very important you know, for us, for all of our companies, in order to plan their activity in, in the future. Tours of the Jockey Club Innovation Tower, King Yin Lei and Blueprint explored the city's diversity. To further boost Hong Kong's attractiveness to startups and to foster innovation, a roundtable discussion was organized to discuss such topics as seeking seed money, realizing business ideas into reality, as well as case sharing. A fond farewell at the gala dinner to celebrate the success of the two-day program. There was also a side trip for the delegates to Wuhan. The program consisted of a courtesy call on government and visits to some leading enterprises in Wuhan. Delegates wrapped up the 2015 gathering with expectations of much more to share and explore when they return next year. Come to the Hong Kong Forum and see why Hong Kong is Asia's world city. Tervetuloa Hong Kong Forumiin vuonna 2016. Добро пожаловать на Гонконгский форум 2016 года. Мне сам, ранее не Hong Kong Forum не зехи госанка кудасай. Voglio invitare tutti i colleghi, tutti gli imprenditori italiani a partecipare ad iniziative come questa, questo forum delle Hong Kong Business Association nel mondo. Come to the Hong Kong Forum.